Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss sexual reproduction in bryophytes. Sexual reproduction in bryophytes is of oogamous type, which means the male gametes are small and motile, and female gametes they are large and non-motile. The sex organs in bryophytes they are multicellular and possess a layer of outer sterile jacket. This is very much important. Sex organs are multicellular, possessing an outer layer of cells which constitute it is sterile jacket. The sex organs they are embedded as well as projected. Embedded type of sex organs are found in rickshia and anthocerous. Embedded means the sex organs are produced inside the thallus, inner to the okay thallus, or you can you can say they are produced inside the chambers. अगर हम विक्षा की बात करेंगे और एंथोसरास की बात करेंगे इनमें जो सेक्स ऑर्गन्स होते हैं दे आर प्रोड्यूसड इन साइड द थैलस दे आर नॉट प्रोजेक्ट टाइप अंदर की ओर होते हैं थैलस में अंदर होते हैं ओके अगर हम मार्केशिया में देखेंगे या मोसिस में देखेंगे द सेक्स ऑर्गन्स द एंथोर्स सॉरी द एंथ्रीडिया एंड ऑर्चुगोनिया दे आर स्लाइटली प्रोजेक्टेड ओके दे आर एट द टॉप ऑफ द थैल्स उसमें एम्बेड होते हैं रिक्शिया और एंथसरास में और मार्केशिया और मॉसिस में जो सेक्स ऑर्गन होते हैं दे आर प्रोजेक्टेड टाइप ऊपर की ओर होते हैं तो पहले हम बात करेंगे एंथ्रीडिया की एंथ्रीडिया मीनस मनी मेल सेक्स ऑर्गन ओके अगर हम एंथ्रीडियम बोलेंगे इट मीनस अ सिंगल मेल सेक्स ऑर्गन इट इज अ मेल सेक्स ऑर्गन and it is distinguishable into a stalk and a body the body comprises a mass of cells which are known as androgonal cells and this androgonal mass is surrounded by a single layer of cells which constitute it is sterile jacket okay so anthridia or you can say anthridium it can be divided into a stalk and body the body comprises a mass of androgonal cells surrounded by a single layer of cells which cannot shoot the sterile jacket now what is the fate of androgonal cells the androgonal cells which are present inside the body they get uh, they start functioning as androcyte mother cells at some point of time now the androcyte mother cells they divide agar aapke paas एक एंड्रोसाइट मदर सेल है इट विल डिवाइड एंड रिजल्ट इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ टू एंड्रोसाइट्स एंड ईच ऑफ दीज टू एंड्रोसाइट्स दे गेट मेटामोरफोज टू फॉर्म बाई फ्लैजलेटेड एंथीरोजाइड्स और स्पर्म्स सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस क्रोनोलॉजी यू हैव एंड्रोगोनियल सेल्स द एंड्रोगोनियल सेल्स दे स्टार्ट फंक्शनिंग एज एंड्रोसाइट मदर सेल्स एंड each androcyte mother cell it divides and forms two androcytes now each of these androcytes they get metamorphosed to form biphylogenetic anthrozoites or sperms here you can see these are the these are the anthridia in case of anthocerous they are embedded type they are inside the chambers okay they they are present inside the chambers that is why they are known as embedded type you have here the stalk and the body body comprises a mass of cells androgonal cells now these androgonal cells they will start functioning as androcyte mother cells each androcyte mother cell it will divide and form two androcytes and each of these androcytes they will get metamorphosed and result in the formation of these biphylogenetic anthrocytes okay यहाँ पे भी एक और बायोफ्लेजलेट एंथ्रोसाइड बनेगा सिंपल नाउ व्हाट इज आर्चुगोनियम आर्चुगोनियम व्हिच इज सिंगुलर इट मींस द फीमेल सेक्स ऑर्गन इट इज अ फ्लास्क शेप्ड स्ट्रक्चर एंड इट इज डिस्टिंगबल इनटू अ बेसल सोलन पार्ट व्हिच इज नोन एज वेंटर एंड अपर इलांगेटेड पार्ट व्हिच इज नोन एज नेक basal swollen part which is known as venter and the upper swollen part which is known as neck 
it is an elongated upper part known as neck okay <clears throat> the venter and the neck of the archegonium they are surrounded by a single layer of outer uh, cells which can shoot the jacket here you can see these are the cells that surround the venter and the neck the venter it contains an egg and a ventricular cell yaad rakhna venter mein do cells hoti hain ek ko hum bolte hain egg and the second one is known as venter canal cell okay ventral it is not ventral sorry it is venter canal cell v e n t e r v e n t e r venter canal cell the neck contains variable number of neck canal cells for example four such cells are found in case of rickshia and more than six such cells are found in case of mosses now you know what is archegonium archegonium is a female sex organ it is a flask shaped structure having the basal swollen part which is known as venter and the upper part which is known as neck the venter contains a venter canal cell and an egg while as the neck contains variable number of neck canal cells for example four in case of rickshia and more than six in case of mosses now the fertilization how fertilization takes place in bryophytes here we have the uh, mosses okay these are the male and female gametophyte of a specific uh, species of moss for example polytrichum okay so this is the male plant and this is the female plant in mosses the sex organs are present at the top in the form of clusters jo sex organs hote hain anthridia hote hain ya archegonia hote in case of mosses they are projecting type they are not embedded in the thallus they are not embedded in the plant body in a state they are projecting type and are present at the top of the plant in the form of clusters here you have the cluster of anthridia you have the cluster of archegonia okay in each anthridium anthrozoites are formed and in each archegonium you have the egg cells ventral canal cell and the neck canal cells okay now before fertilization what happens is the androgonal cells they the walls of the androgonal cells they disorganize and form a mucilaginous mass and at the same time the st sterile jacket one of the cells of the sterile jacket which functions as operculum it disorganizes and is removed and as a consequence of this the anthrozoites which are present inside they are liberated liberation of anthrozoites takes place okay in all this that means disorganization of androgonal uh, walls then the removal of the operculum cell and the liberation of anthrozoites it takes place in presence of water this is very much important okay ab aapke paas anthridia hai each anthridium contains anthrozoites they are liberated how they are liberated the walls of the androgonal cells they become disorganized they form a mucilaginous mass is make pressure generate ho jata hai jo operculum cell hoti hai okay it is removed and the anthrozoites are liberated these anthrozoites they they get transferred to the neck of the archegonium they uh, they reach the neck of the archegonium but they are carried with the help of water yaad rakhna they reach the neck of the archegonium using the water and when they reach the neck of the archegonium they are attracted towards the egg because of the presence of some uh, chemotactic uh, substances uh, usually sugars in case of bryophytes yaad rakhna anthrozoites are liberated they reach the neck of the archegonium they are attracted towards the egg because of some chemical substances usually sugars okay the sugars act as the chemotactic uh, substances in case of bryophytes and when they reach the egg one of the anthrozoites it fuses with the egg and fertilization takes place and fertilization results in the formation of zygote 
विच अल्टीमेटली गेट्स कन्वर्टेड इन टू एन एम्ब्रियो फिर एम्ब्रियो बन जाता है ओके आई विल रिपीट यू हैव मेल गेमेटोफाइट एंड फीमेल गेमेटोफाइट क्लस्टर ऑफ एंथ्रीडिया एट द टॉप ऑफ दिस प्लांट क्लस्टर ऑफ ऑर्चुगेने एट द टॉप ऑफ दिस प्लांट देन इन ईच एंथ्रीडियम एंथ्रियोजाइड्स आर फॉर्मड विच आर लिबरेटेड ओके दे लिबरेटेड एंथ्रियोजाइड्स दे रीज द नैक ऑफ द ऑर्चुगोनियम बाई यूजिंग वाटर and they are attracted towards the egg because of the secretion of some uh, substances usually sugars in case of bryophytes and when they reach the egg one only one of the anthrozoite fuses with the egg and results in the formation of zygote which ultimately gets converted into an embryo now what is the fate of this embryo this embryo ultimately gets converted into a sporophyte okay that is a separate topic i will uh, we will talk about the sporophyte its structure and its function okay तो फिर एम्ब्रियो बन जाता है एम्ब्रियो अल्टीमेटली गेट्स कन्वर्ट इनटू ए स्पोरोफाइट नाउ व्हाट इज द रोल ऑफ वाटर इन फर्टिलाइजेशन द रोल ऑफ वाटर इन फर्टिलाइजेशन इन केस ऑफ ब्रियोफाइट्स यू नो दैट द ब्रियोफाइट्स दे आर फंडामेंटली टेरिस्ट्रियल प्लांट्स बट दे रिक्वायर वाटर टू कंप्लीट देयर लाइफ साइकिल विदाउट वाटर दे कैन नॉट कंप्लीट देयर लाइफ साइकिल वाटर इज एसेंशियल इन केस ऑफ ब्रियोफाइट्स बिकॉज इट इट इज इट काज इज डेहिसंस ऑफ एंथ्रीडिया जो एंथ्रीडिया है दे डेहिस ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ वाटर इट काज इज लिबरेशन ऑफ एंथ्रियोजाइड फ्राम एंथ्रीडिया ट्रांसफर ऑफ एंथ्रियोजाइड फ्राम एंथ्रीडिया टू आर्चुगोनिया ओपनिंग ऑफ आर्चुगोनियल नेक जो आर्चुगोनिया होता है इट इज हैविंग ए ग्रुप ऑफ कैप्सल्स ओके दीज कैप्सल्स दे आर रिमूव बिकॉज ऑफ द प्रजेंस ऑफ वाटर अगर पानी नहीं होगा the cover cells the cap cells they will not get displaced yaad rakhna the cover cells of the neck they are removed due to uh, the presence of water and the movement of anthrozoites into into the archegonal neck all these processes they are possible only because of the presence of water okay and finally the anthrozoites they are attracted towards the egg by the chemotactic stimulus which is uh, which is some uh, which are some sugars the anthrozoites they enter the into archegonia and fertilize the egg resulting in the formation of zygote and only one anthrozoite is capable of fusing with the egg okay this is very much important only one do a number of anthrozoites can enter into the archegonium only one fuses with the egg and results in the formation of zygote here you can see this is how fertilization takes place i have already told you about the fertilization let's recapitulate these details you have male gametophyte female gametophyte you have cluster of anthridia cluster of archegonia sorry this is anthridial head and this is archegonial head and in each anthridium anthrozoites are formed these are liberated these anthrozoites they use water to reach the archegonial neck and once they reach the archegonial neck they are attracted towards the egg by the chemotactic stimulus which are sugars and the anthrozoites they enter into the archegonium and only one of the anthrozoites is capable of fusing with the egg the rest are degenerated okay and thus fertilization takes place okay we can say fertilization takes place now the zygote that forms because of fertilization it gets converted into an embryo and embryo later on forms the sporophyte now what is the sporophyte how it looks like what is the function of sporophyte uh we will talk about it in the next part so 